So it's about 8 a.m. here in our Warwick site and I'm just getting ready to start my day. I'm Megan Billings. I'm a senior manager of translational engineering here at Vertex Pharmaceuticals, and I work in the research engineering group. We're really working on Vertex cell and gene therapies. That's our division, We're developing delivery techniques and devices. We essentially get a challenge. This device doesn't exist with these features, and we need you guys to figure out how to do it. And that's our job. So to start out, we're going to be designing some things in CAD. Tameshkin's here, and he is the head of the simulation department, and we collaborate all the time. Hi, Tame. Hello. On the computer, we're 3D modeling the parts and the machinery and the devices that we want to create. And we design up all these parts. In this case, this is a, a robot that we're working on. And usually there's a back and forth flow between CAD, computer-aided design, and then we'll build prototypes and test them. So when we have a new idea, Jay is the first person that builds the very first one. And we build things, we test things with all the different members of this team we can then take the results of that simulation and feed them back into the CAD. Then we take that test data, give it back to Teme, they retest, and we can do this over and over again until we get really precise, specific answers. This is my coworker, Matt Watson from Biomechanics, uh, and he has some kind of device in his hand. So we're going to consult with Dennis, who is our most experienced tool maker. And, and Dennis is gonna look at it and go, how can I machine this better? How can this be designed better so that it's easier to make? Hi, Carlos. He's going to set up a 3D scan of a machine part. We're going to actually look at what the surface is. So if there are any scratches, any tiny, tiny, tiny features, we can resolve them on this, and it'll help us give a picture of what's actually going on with the part. And the magic comes from combining these very old school skills like watchmaking, fine machining, with the new technologies, 3D scanning, 3D printing, and that new level of combo where you can really invent things that don't exist. It's very exciting. We build things, we test things with all the different members of this team. We're bouncing back and forth between testing, designing, building, testing, designing, building until you iterate enough that you have a great finished device. I'm a manager now, so really my role isn't so much to design something myself. It's to really set up an environment where the team can bring their best input, which is always infinitely better than my best input alone. The thing that people often don't realize is that we fail 99% of the time. Being fearless is really that willingness to sit in that uncomfortable place where you know you're failing, but you believe in yourself enough that you'll get there. That's critical because otherwise you quit too early and you don't ever get to your answer. And when you spend over a year working on a challenge like that, and then all of a sudden you've made 10 of them in a row, you've made 100 of them in a row, the whole team is actually succeeding at this. It's a pretty exciting thing to see that become real. Thank you guys for joining me today on the floor. I hope you guys learned something about our process for prototyping. We did a little emergency fixes on some parts and we collaborated a bunch with the crew, which is really always a fun day for me. So I'm headed out and that's a wrap on this day.